Hello, everyone. We are frequently asked the question about the relationship of obstructive sleep apnea and the COVID-19. In this video, I will discuss the current research and literature that we have about their relationship. We do know that obstructive sleep apnea is associated with and there is an increased risk of other comorbidities such as diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, all of which are known to worsen the COVID-19 outcome and create more problems for the patients. So obstructive sleep apnea also by virtue of its tendency to cause hypoxemia and changes in their interleukins and the cytokines could be responsible for worsening this. Numerous studies have been coming out ever since April, then there were some studies in August. We've had a recent one in which uh, about 10,000 patients were evaluated who had obstructive sleep apnea and uh, the COVID. And it was found that the presence of OSA make, is about eight times more likely to get the COVID-19. And those who get it, the presence of OSA can result in about one and a half times more chance of getting hospitalized and approximately twice the risk of getting a respiratory failure. So thus, um, we do know that the presence of obstructive sleep apnea can make you more liable or predisposed to get this COVID-19 and also can result in worsening or increasing the severity of the infection. So thus, uh, just to say that do take care of yourselves. Those who are diagnosed with this condition should maintain and continue their treatment. And those who are yet undiagnosed should make all measures, take more measures and aims to get diagnosed. And those who have been diagnosed, not started treatment, please do start the treatment and take care. In the next uh, video, we will discuss the CPAP use in patients who have the COVID-19 or what are those, or what is the advice so far and what does the research say. Thank you so much and uh, wish you all a safe and pleasant year to continue with. Thank you.